This summer, Emily and I got a chance to meet Colleen Klein. She's from Silver Springs, New York. Now she grew up on a family's dairy, and now that dairy has kind of been intruded on by her urban friends. All right, Colleen, we're here at your, your family's dairy. Yes. Uh, very interesting when you talk about where this is at. This is right by a lake. Yep. It's right by some very uh, high scale housing. Yep. All right, tell me about that. So I have lived on or around this farm um, for most of my life. Mm -hmm. um, and when it comes to the lake and our relationship with the lake and the people that live at the lake, uh, my memories go back many, many years. And it wasn't always what I would consider a positive relationship. Oh, the, those lake people. Those lake people. Yeah. Um, Did you ever see West Side Story? You had the sharks yeah. and the jets. Yeah. Is that what it was? The farmers yeah, and like the a, lake people? Yeah, the clients and Don't the make. Lakers. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Um, and I just recall hearing from a really young age, you know, people at the lake would complain at times about the smell on the farm. Sure. We're so close. Even though you were here first. Even though we were yeah. here first. Now, there's complaints about the odor. There's complaints about runoff. You know, we yeah. are very close. It mm -hmm. is a concern. Um, also watched my dad through those years get involved to try to bridge the gap between, the, uh, you know, us and the lake people. He was yeah. involved in our local watershed group, but it was it was always a thing, you know, that we were worried about, and we, even as kids, were very, very much aware of. Sure. Um, yeah. it, it made you a little, little defensive at times. Your daughters, though, they're doing the sunflower yeah. stand. And how is that going? Because they're interacting with those those Lakers. Yeah, they are. So one of the most interesting things and positive things that I could say that has happened when the girls started doing sunflowers was this was the relationship with people that live in our community mm -hmm. and they live around the lake because they love the sunflowers um, and they love the girls and they love the work that they're doing. And when they come to the stand and now all of a sudden there's something on the farm that is theirs. Yeah. Um, they have an ownership in it. It's something that they really like and they're proud that this is in their community and they're proud to share it with other people. So all of a sudden, you know, the farm is awesome. We love the farm because that's part of the farm um, and it's part of our story as a family. Mm -hmm. And I just think for everyone to consider, you know, it didn't take a lot to change the tone of that relationship. It was a very small thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it really, it wasn't even intentional, but I think we all, we all learned from that. You know, see, yeah. look, at, look at how you can do something small that really changes that dynamic. So in a way, your daughters have almost become ambassadors yeah. between the farm and the I call them the Lakers. Yeah, the Lakers. That's a basketball team. We call them the Lakers too. I'm Lakers. actually now a Laker, but that's okay. So yeah, <laughs> I, I've gone, I've gone to the other side. Have yeah. you thought about like if this was done when you were in high school, would you have the same attitude as your daughters? You know, I don't know. Um, things were different then. Mm -hmm. Agritourism wasn't a thing. Yeah. You know, nobody knew what agritourism was. Um, it wasn't widely accepted to have people on your farm uh, so much then and invite them and tell your story. That wasn't a thing. No, no you know, this is what we do and mind your business. That that was more of the more of the tone, I think, when I was younger, not saying that it wouldn't have worked, but people really embrace that sort of thing um, so much more now. And especially we have social media we can share and and, and, mm -hmm. and things like that. It's really changed. Colleen, thank you so much. I love what you're doing. I love what your daughter is doing. I love what your family's doing. So thank you on behalf of agriculture. Thanks for what you're doing. Really, really appreciate it. Well, thank you for coming yeah. to visit us. Absolutely. Anytime. Thanks for spending some time with us here on Shark Farmer TV. For more stories about people in agriculture, catch my shows on Rural Radio Channel 147 Sirius XM. There's more in-depth discussions on my podcast. And of course, you can check out previous episodes of this show on my YouTube channel. Find out more at sharkfarmer.com.